This alpaca ghost sling nano review is gonna be so awesome because I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about this sling to decide if it's the sling for you. Super subtle branding. It's light, very breathable. Love, love, love. Magnetic. G-hooks right here. Now it's super premium, very stretchy. I'm just proud of you, little guy. But I got some things to say. Let's talk about the gist of the Alpaca Ghost Sling Nano. As the name indicates, the Nano, it's just a little guy. And at 1.6 liters, it's easily one of the smallest slings I've ever reviewed. Some of its top features are lightweight but weather resistant materials, YKK PU coated zippers on the front and main compartments, super premium interior materials, magnetic, hardware, and detachable shoulder straps. So this comes in two color options in two different materials. This is the Axoflux, which comes in black and green, but there's also X-Pack versions available that also come in black and green. And check it out, like I said, it is just, just a little guy, 1.6 liters, but the Ghost Sling is a family. We also have the Ghost Sling Mini and the Ghost Sling Regular, this is Papa Bear. And we're actually going to do, or maybe by the time this video is live, we'll have done a review comparing the whole family and you can find that here or there or by typing it into YouTube you'll figure it out it weighs 0.57 pounds it's covered with alpaca's lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects and for all that the price runs around 60 US dollars now if at any point in this review you're thinking to yourself things adorable I want one and you're gonna make a purchase or you want to find out more information we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes for alpaca and that link also helps to support the nomadization team so we can keep making the best gear reviews on the web which we really appreciate. Thank you so much. Okay, first up, let's talk about the outside of the Alpaca Go Sling Nano. First up, we got super subtle branding, this little tab right here. Thank you, Alpaca, for keeping us nice and sexy and anonymous. Now, let's talk about this material. This is a 600D polyester, and it's called Axoflux, which is Alpaca's custom in-house polyester. It's light, very breathable. It's smooth to the touch while having a bit of scratchy robustness to it. And I love that it's got a bit of a shine to it. Overall, it's a great material with two small cons to take into consideration. One, it's not gonna be as weather resistant as like the X-Pack version or even a nylon material on a sling. And two, it's a bit of a hair and dust magnet, not terrible, but it's gonna pick up more than maybe some other fabrics you might be familiar with. On the outside, let's talk about this back pocket, which is one of my kind of least favorite features of this sling. I like this sling, don't like this pocket. Reason being is just kind of a lack of security. As you can see with this pocket, there's no zipper, there's no magnetic sort of closure. It's just this open space, which I think is fine and dandy most of the time, right? If you want to throw a wallet in there, it's against your body. It's it's not really like gonna, it could fall out, you know? <laughs> but as long as the sling is upright, you should be fine. For me, I'm not like a super like security buff, but like it's even a bit too insecure for me. It makes me feel insecure. So I'd put something like gum or tissues in there. Overall though, it's not a pocket that I get a lot of use out of. Is this pocket secure enough for you? I wanna hear what you gotta say. Let me know in the comments below. And then finally, let's talk about the shoulder strap. It's made with a really nice nylon webbing. Alpaca always brings their A-game with the nylon webbing. And it seems like such a small thing. You're like, Aaron, why are you nerding out over nylon webbing? Because you're spending 60, 70 bucks in the sling. You want it to feel good. And these little things do go a long way, in my opinion. And then we have this piece of hardware right here, Magnetic, made from a company called Mag Locks. And I personally am a big fan of a feature like this on a sling because it allows me to sort of take it off a lot easier. And it just kind of, it's just fun for my fidgety tendencies to play with this. My wife doesn't like it but I like it and that's all that matters until it doesn't. Now, some people do think that this is like setting yourself up to be more likely to be thieved for a savvy thief to just go ahead and kind of do one of these and then bye bye a nano sling. But for me, it's not something that I'm personally concerned about. And then finally, if you're like, you know what? I don't want this to be a sling today. I want to transform it into a tech pouch or a dop kit. Then you can go ahead and pop the straps off with these G-hooks right here. Now the thing with these G-hooks are they are a B-I-T-C-H and a half to undo, but it's also not a bad thing. It just gives you a bit of extra security. It means that, you know, the strap is on there when it's really on there when it's on. And on the flip side, clipping it back in is significantly easier. And if you're thinking to yourself, holy moly, this guy is really into slings and backpacks and what a nerd, am I right? Guilty as charged, I'm a bit nerdy with these things. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but I'm so nerdy with backpacks and slings that I'm actually building my own backpack and I'm documenting the entire process here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you wanna get a behind the scenes look at what it takes to build a world-class backpack from the ground up with like the best, most premium-ist materials, then take a look at the second link in the description below. That link will show you more about where we are in the building a backpack project. And it will also tell you how you can get involved and vote in some surveys. I wanna hear what you gotta say and 
and I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the inside of the Alpaca Ghost Sling Nano. We got two pockets. Both are protected with YKK PU coated zippers. PU coated stands for polyurethane. I think I can never say it right. And that's what that glossy weather resistance is right there. Keeps the water out, but does create a bit more friction when trying to open and close these compartments. So keep that in mind. In this pocket, super basic. I love, 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 love. Alpaca's ripstop honeycomb nylon gray lining. It looks good, it feels good, and it's very ripstoppy as the name would suggest. There's no additional organization in this pocket, but you do have a key leash. Also made from Maglox. I have to emphasize that Z. Overall, pretty good key leash. It's got this like little turtle shell connection. Go ahead and pop that into place. Magnets and keys go together like tacos and tequila. I gotta stop saying that. I gotta think of a better one. Let's ask ChatGPT real fast. I use ChatGPT for everything. It's crazy. Dear ChatGPT, I say goes together like tacos and tequila too often. Please give me five alternatives. Coffee and donuts. Peanut butter and jelly. That's a good one. Wine and cheese, burger and fries, salt and pepper, baby. Ooh, I like that last one. So magnets and slings go together like salt and pepper. <laughs> I wanted to say tacos and tequila. This is not sponsored by OpenAI ChatGPT, I promise. And one thing about this pocket that I like so much is that it really expands. And this is a recurring element of all the Go slings. A very flush sort of silhouette that really packs a punch when you need it. Case in point, we got the magnetic Key ring solution goes together with this sling like peanut butter and jelly. But I'm gonna throw a few more things in there that I want quick access to, namely my wallet, AirPods. Granted, it's not a huge pocket, but you know, you can fit some bulkier things in there. Zip it on up, definitely gets the job done. And now for the main compartment, we got two YKK PU coated zippers that get you in. It's sort of like a half opener but it really expands when you want it to. We've got one, two elastic pockets on this side and a sort of a tech section on the other side with this divider and a super soft microfiber lining. Now for this section in the back, I've gone ahead and slid my Kindle in there. As you can see, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it definitely fits and closes. It's not gonna be big enough for a tablet. In fact, Alpaca says it's big enough for an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And that microfiber material in there is really gonna help with scratch resistance and just kind of make you feel more confident keeping your phone and or Kindle there. On the other side, I'm gonna try and throw some smaller things. I've got some wired headphones in one elastic mesh pocket and some tissues in the other. These elastic mesh pockets are a little bit loose. I'm not sure how confident I feel like it's gonna stay in there. I feel like having these be zippered may have been like a better time. Not that I'm having a bad time, I'm just not sure how good of a time I'm having with these pockets. But one thing I will say is I love the actual mesh, super premium, very stretchy. And yet again, just alpaca giving you a little bit extra panache, a little bank for your buck with some of the interior materials in this sling. I love it. Now, like I said, this is just a 1.6 liter sling, which here at Nomad's Nation, we refer to as a pocket reliever. And it's just supposed to take things from here and put them here. But like I said, the Go family does offer a bit of a packing punch. Let's see if it can fit a few bulkier items as well. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a tripod at the bottom, another battery, some pistachios, a phenomenal source of protein. And you can see, impressively, at 1.6 liters, this little guy is closed and I'm just proud of you, little guy. I just, I just really am. Me and you, we just go together like burgers and fries. Or do we? Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Pro number one, like all slings in this Go series, it can pack a punch. Pro number two is really impressive materials for the price point. And pro number three, because the shoulder strap detaches, it can actually be like a two-in-one sling slash tech pouch. But while this little guy is Friggin' adorable. Got some cons, I got some things to say. Here they are. Con number one, this pocket. I don't think I'd use it. And con number two is the elastic pockets in the main compartment. They're a bit loose. I kind of wish that they were a zipper pocket or secured in some way. And con number three is have fun with these G-hooks because they're a friggin' B-I-T-C-H to get off sometimes. But if you're still here and you've weighed the pros and the cons and you're like, Aaron, I see that nano on you. And I think me and that sling will go together like coffee and donuts. And you're gonna make a purchase, just a reminder that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description because I don't want you to miss out on any of our discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomad Nation team, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But you might be here because you're like, Aaron, me and that sling don't go together like coffee and cheese. I want some alternative recommendations. Don't worry, I got you, here they are. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the Alpaca Go Sling Mini. Very similar, it's like their cousin. But this one's bigger and if you need more space, but like the whole style, but want something bigger, take a look at our full review, which you can find links in the description below. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Bellroy Venture Ready Sling 2.5 liter. This guy. This is for you if you want a super small sling, but you want a bit more organization and, in my opinion, a better back pocket. 
To learn more about this sling, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, alternative sling recommendation number three is the Air City Sling 2. This is for you if you like that sort of urban anonymous dark vibe. But you want a little bit of a different look. I think that the Air City Sling is a little bit sharper, maybe? Maybe with different materials. Kind of a different just sling altogether. And to learn more about the Air City Sling 2, go ahead and watch this video right here. If you got any questions about this sling or any slings, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. My name is Aaron. This is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.